Yeah, always good memories, and uh, we, we're with a guy who's who's created some. Uh, by the way, we're joined with Tom Verducci now. He's joined us, and so has three-time All-Star for the Astros. It's their man, George Springer. George, always good to see you, my friend. Let, let's go back to last year because there were a couple things. First of all, it was a little Astros flavor in extra innings, right? You and Bregman went back to back, and and then also you prevented us from playing 20 innings. So you really, it was, <laughs> we were all grateful for it. But so obviously, you've had wonderful experiences here. This is your third time around. Feel any different? Uh, I don't know. You know, I just, I just now, um, I have a new appreciation for everything. You know, I understand um, that you never know how many of these you're ever going to get a shot to be at or play in. So it's just kind of one of those things where you go around the clubhouse, hang out with guys who you don't normally hang around with, um, and just enjoy the moment. Yeah. Most leadoff home runs since 2016. What is it about leadoff? Is it that football mentality you like to ignite things? Uh, I think so. You know, I understand I'm, I'm, I'm not the normal guy that you probably want to stick there. Um, but I like to, I mean, I take pride in it. You know, I understand that I'm, I'm there to set the tone for, for our offense. So, I mean, if I happen to hit one, great. But, you know, I just won't want to have a, a good at bat. But, you know, I, I like to hit the ball hard. I got a kick out of watching you watching Reggie. Now, you're too young to remember that. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Tell me about your all-star memories go growing up and dreaming maybe someday you'd be there too. Um, I mean, the, the one that sticks out for me just because it was probably closer to home was the one that was in uh, in Boston with all the homers being hit over the monster yeah. and and uh, the home run derby and all that stuff. It's it's you know it's it's a uh, it's a little surreal um, to grow up watching this game knowing you know wow like you know these are the, the best of the best they're playing in the all-star game and now uh, you know lucky enough that. This is my third one. It's it's this is something special for me. George, I know you like the leadoff role, but you ever just thought like, what would I do in the three hole? The numbers I could amass. What would I do in the three hole? I'd panic. <laughs> that, that's what I would do. It's a lot of responsibility down there. I mean, you gotta be able to hit. That, that you know, that's why we got a guy like Alex Bregman hitting third for us, because um, he's got that presence. He he you know he he has that. Uh, he has that mentality of, of I'm going to drive this guy in. I like to be the guy that's on base for him to drive me in. So it's it's uh, I haven't really thought about it because I probably honestly would panic if I was down there. But it's all good. <laughs> I would love to see you in three hole because I watch you all the time. Like this guy's a prototypical three hole hitter, 40 home runs, 140 ribbies. That's what I see if you're in the three hole. Hey, I mean. Who wouldn't take that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently, Frank is trying to write out your lineup cards now. I mean, what else, is, what else is new? So, you know, I, I go back a couple years, 2017, on the field at Dodger Stadium when I'm, when I'm interviewing you after you won the MVP in the World Series. Unreal moment. Last year, you guys had another phenomenal year. And, and now here you are again. You're playing just fantastic baseball. Can you take me through the mental grind of the season after you win it and then still having that, that, that charge to keep on going and win it again? And here you are maybe playing as well as you ever have this year. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't think a lot of people un understand, you know, the concept of playing so late into October, which I wouldn't change it to save a, to for anything. That's that's why we play the game. But the next year, I never experienced that because you push everything back a month. You know, you 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 normally don't start to work out until December, and then you push things back a month and a month, and next thing you know, spring training's on you, and you're playing baseball again. And then by June. You feel like you never stopped. Um, so that the, for me, the mental grind of like, oh my goodness, it's 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 here, it's back already, uh, was a little bit tough. Um, but then we played further and further into the year, and you're like, well, this is what I I play the game for. I play to play that extra month. And then we ended up getting beat by, by the uh, you know eventual World Series champions. But the concept of playing that extra month, you don't really understand it until you actually do it. And it's it's uh, it's something hard to explain, but but it is a grind. George, sticking right there to the grind, you have six All-Stars here from the Houston Astros represented. None named Jose Altuve and Carlos Correa. Wow. First of all, how good are you guys? And will you compare this to your, this team more to 2017 or 2018? Um, I think we're a r really, really good team. Um, I think we're a team that hasn't played its best baseball. I think we're a team that that in the next half is gonna play its best baseball. Um, it's hard to compare past teams because each each of those past teams does things to differently. You know, 2017, our offense was was at the mainstay behind the pitching staff. 2018, the offense <laughs> uh, was helped out by the pitching staff, and you know, you know, this year I. 
I think what we're that hybrid team of, of our bullpen's phenomenal, you know, that they don't get enough credit. Our starters have been great all year and, and kind of our offense d does enough to win the game. So I, I, I think we're that, that, that hybrid team from 2017, 2018 that still has its best baseball to play. You're predicting you're winning. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I hope we do. I mean, I, you know, I don't want to stay up here and say that we're going to get beat, I, you know, so I hope that we do. Take it back. That's your motto that this is, year, right? That is our motto. You have great teammates, obviously, with the Astros. You get here, your teammates now are the best of the best. So, George, are there guys that you're playing with at the All-Star game that you love to talk to about hitting, kind of pick their brains? Uh... All of them, you know, um, I, 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 I can I can honestly say all of them because every guy in, in that room thinks differently, does things d differently, has a certain way to go, a, a, you know, about the way that they approach the game. So it's it's it's, you know, always interesting to talk to guys about, you know, how they d do things or how they kind of approach things and 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 vice versa. George, uh, always a pleasure to watch you. Even better to talk to you. Have fun tomorrow night, okay? All right, appreciate it. George Springer, and, and think about that three hole one time. Oh, Frank right. still wants the three hole. Can't let it go. He's leadoff, Frank. That's what he does. <laughs>